How's everybody doing today? Mike Scott with Storyteller Media. You can find me on Twitter at Mike Scott Now or email me info at storytellermco.com and then of course our website storytellermco.com. All right, how's everybody doing? Glad to have everybody back. We are on week number five, vlog number five. So again, thank you very much for continuing to watch every week. Um, I'm getting some great feedback, some great comments, some great engagement. So uh, that's why I do it. I want to share what I've learned and, and hopefully help in any way I can. So what I want to talk about today is how I drive traffic to my website using social media. And that's one of the, a question I get quite often and one of the things that I know I wanted to figure out when I first started is how to do that. And not just do that with paid advertising. I think even that can be difficult. But how do you do that with a zero budget? Because I know a lot of us starting out don't have that extra money, right, to get started in or don't have the extra money to waste. So they really want to get started. And, and yes, doing targeted advertising uh, that is set correctly is can pay, can pay major dividends. But again, I understand that starting out, sometimes we, we don't have a budget. So that's what I wanted to do is I wanted to share with you the five ways and kind of my formula of how I do that. And so that number one is going to start with content, right? Is thinking about, and we've talked about this strategy before, is what is your content? How does your content line up with your target audience? So really thinking about what do they want to hear? What, what do they want to learn about? Uh, and thinking really deep about that, writing that out, researching maybe some other people within that space that do content like you want to do and really taking a look at that, seeing what they're doing, seeing what's working and what what's not working, of course. And I mean, we can have a whole episode about content, but really, I just want to go over some of those key points to make sure that you understand it always starts with content because you can have a decent strategy, you can share all day long, but if the content is not inviting, if the content is not targeted towards your audience, you're not going to get that feedback, you're not going to get that conversion, you won't get the traffic. So really focus on that content. So that's number one. Uh, number two is going to be blogging. And I know, you know, it was something that was rough for me when I started too, is when I heard about blogging or saw blogging, I wasn't a writer. I, I looked at it and said, man, I can't even, I, I can barely spell. No, I'm just kidding. But it's not my strong point, right? It never was my strong point. And so, uh, and so really what it is, is making sure that, again, it goes back to that content, is looking at what your target audience wants to do and creating a blog about it on your website. And it's just writing. Don't let it scare you. It's really simple if as far as just sit down and write how you would talk, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It will develop over time. It will get better. And who knows, you may be a natural writer. It's hard telling, but you've got to start at least because people want that information. People want to learn from you. Uh, just like I try to do for everybody who, who, who watches or listens or reads what I have, I really try to give some type of value and that's the same thing that you want to do no matter what you're doing. It doesn't have to be on social media. I mean, whatever it is that you do, do it around there. Whether you're an insurance agent or real estate agent or you're selling a product, whatever it is, write about it and just do it in your own words. Uh, the next one would be vlogging. So kind of what I'm doing now. It's something I just started too. Uh, and I've gotten some great response. So again, take your time. And that's kind of that formula that I've used, right? Is I will come up with the content, then I will write about it, and then I will shoot a video about it. And that way I have that overall content that I can share with my audience and, and it helps drive traffic back to my website. And so again, we want to do the content, we want to do blog, vlog, and then next, number four would be coming up with a strategy. What is your strategy going to be? And what do I mean by strategy? I mean, when are you going to share or post things? On what platforms are you going to do it? What tools are you going to use? We've talked a lot about Buffer. Buffer is one that you can use to schedule out your posts. So that's a great one. Another great tool is Social Bro. That's another one, and I'll put the links in the in the blog. But that's another one you can see when a good time your audience is on so that you can share the content in the appropriate time. So again, a social strategy of what times, what tools, what platforms, and really come up with that before you have everything. So that way, the minute you get a chance and you get done with your content, your blog, your vlog, 
then you already know what you're going to do. So it's not just spur of the moment, coming up with something and then releasing it, right? And I know because I've been guilty of it as well. But the more I realize that if I have a strategy, uh, the better it comes back to me. So and the better I get that traffic that's driving back into my website. And really, that's what we're talking about today. And whether we're in any business product service, that's what we want, right? We want them to come back to look at what we, we provide as a service or product. Next one is how to share or post your, your information, right? And what do I mean by that? Hashtags. We've talked about hashtags before as well, but are you using specific hashtags to your audience? And not, you know, I see a lot of times people will say, you know, for instance, if they're doing a motivational quote, they'll put, you know, whatever it is, goals, this or that, or success. For me, when I do motivational quotes, I stick with the same two hashtags, success and motivation. That's it. I don't vary. Even if it's talking about goals, I don't put hashtag goals because hashtags can be a huge driver back to your post, which and then are in turn back to your website. So it's important to find what hashtags you want to use and stay consistent with those hashtags, not just on these posts, but all the time when you're online. Uh, next one would be ask others to to share or post. So if you're on Facebook or LinkedIn, and I do this, I get other people doing this with me, is they ask and they put out a new post and they'll send me a quick message. With Facebook and LinkedIn, one of the best ways to do it is just send a direct message saying, hey, would you mind? And usually not just to random people, though. I think that's one of the things that I've got to kind of go back and say is that you really want to do that with people you build relationships with. Because you know as well as I do, it's happened to you, right? You've been tagged in something, you've been added to a group, and you don't have any idea what it is, right? And you're just like, what? No, delete, buy, gone. And so again, build that relationship, but then just ask, you know, especially Facebook, LinkedIn, ask through a direct message. With Twitter, you can actually tag people. And so whenever I put out a new post, people that I've built a relationship with, and so that I have you know, given value, they've given value back to me. So it's kind of a unsaid thing. Whenever they have a new post, they'll tag me as well because they know that I like what, what they have to say. And I will tweet and retweet that as well. So again, that same kind of, uh, that same kind of value goes back to there though, is you don't want to just tag everybody or random people or even influencers. You think, oh, they've got a huge audience. Well, if they don't know you and or they don't like your content, they're probably not going to share it. And so it's extremely important to do so. And then last but not least is one of the most important ones is engage, engage, engage. Once you set everything, you send it out, you have your schedule, you've got your content, you put all this time into it. You know, a lot of people just leave leave it alone then and expect, oh, okay, I'm going to have 5,000 hits to my website today. It just doesn't work like that. You continually have to work your content and continuing to add value and be there for them. And so whether that's responding to a comment or saying thank you for the retweet or the share. And if you do that, you will see your engagement start to grow. And of course, you're going to see your website traffic grow as well. So again, hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Talk soon.